Fetch. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, a few things we can kind of show off. This is our suspensory ligament. Look at its origin. Okay. Right? So in the palm of our hand, if you guys Google interosseous muscle, interosseous tendon, our hand, actually, we have interosseous muscles in them that help flex our fingers. Okay? This right here is the interosseous muscle, but look how it has multiple heads to its origin. You guys see that? I never really understood it. That's one thing I never understood when I started doing dissections. I always thought it was like just one tendon that inserted into one spot. But look at how that has multiple heads. So you'll see that most times, think about if you're ultrasounding that, right? They say that almost all suspensory ligament injuries are in, they, they happen in that proximal third or that proximal really high suspensory injury. But how would you really diagnose that? That'd be pretty hard if you couldn't see the actual striations because each one of those black holes would look like a tear, right? So when you get a suspensory ligament in the future, if you guys are ever getting that, you really want to make sure that you have left and right so that you can compare what's normal anatomy for that horse. So of course it's just added bifurcates. You can see how clean that is. See how it inserts into our sesamoids? It courses dorso distad and inserts in the main extensor tendon about the level of our passionate.